Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that the product of two consecutive integers is even. So before we do this proof, let me just briefly recall uh, what it means for an integer to be even and also what it means for an integer to be odd because we're going to use the fact that every integer is either even or odd in this proof. So even basically means that um, you can write it as n equals 2k where n is some integer. And odd means that you can write it as n equals 2k plus 1, where k is some integer. So every integer is either even or odd. So let's go ahead and go through this proof. So let's start by looking at an integer. So let n be an integer. And we have to look at the product of n and the integer after it, because we want to show that the product of any two consecutive integers is even. So then consider n times n plus 1. So we have the product of two consecutive integers. So every integer is either even or odd. So let's look at the case first where n is even. So if n is even, then we can write n as 2k for some integer k. So then we can look at the product. So then n, n plus 1. That's equal to 2k times 2k plus 1. And this is equal to 2 bracket k 2k plus 1. Where this expression in brackets is an integer because it's the product of integers, right? 2k plus 1 is an integer, k is an integer. You multiply them and you get an integer. So where k times 2k plus 1 is an integer. So we have that the product of the consecutive integers is a multiple of 2. The product of consecutive integers is even. So n, n plus 1 is even. So if n is even, the product is even. What about if n is odd? If n is odd, then that means we can write n as 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So then we'll look at the product. So n, m plus 1, that's going to be 2k plus 1, that's the n, and then n plus 1 is 2k plus 1 plus 1, so that's 2k plus 1, and then this will be 2k plus 2. Good stuff. And then we can pull out a 2 from the second factor. So this is 2 bracket 2k plus 1 k plus 1. And all of this in brackets is an integer where 2k plus 1 times k plus 1 is an integer. So we've shown that n times n plus 1 is a multiple of 2. In other words, we've shown that it's even. So n times n plus 1 is even. So we took an integer, we looked at the next integer, the consecutive integers, the consecutive integer, and we showed that if it's even, uh, if n is even, uh, the product of it and the next integer is also even. We showed that if it's odd, the product of it and the next integer is also even. So in any case, in any case, any case, n times n plus 1 is even. And that completes the proof.
So therefore, we are done. So kind of a, a fun little problem. All you need is um, the definition of even and odd and just a little bit of thought. So not too bad. Good luck.